What's good? So on this TikTok right here, someone asked me how I got so much money on GTA, and I replied asking if you guys want a tutorial on YouTube, and you guys said yes, and you know that I got you, boys. So uh, not every step is gonna apply to you. I'm gonna try my best to help all of you out. So let's get right into it, man. Now there's two ways you can begin this. One is buying shark cards. I know, I know, I know. I do not recommend you do this, but at the end of the day, it's your money, your toys. You can do what you want, but then again, I do not recommend that you do this. It does save you a lot of time, though. If you don't want to do that or don't already have the money complete these three treasure hunts they give you almost eight hundred thousand dollars and that is a huge step to our goal there are tons of tutorials on youtube on how to do these it should not take you that long at all especially with the tutorials once you finish the treasure hunts you will need to do anything you can to get as close to your goal as possible and doing stuff like selling expensive cars will help you it may not seem like a lot but every bit counts all right now especially cars like these this particular car there's two types of these they're the gallivants or ballers they sell nine thousand dollars each as you can see right here there is this car that spawns really late at night at this spot you will probably have to circle the block a couple of times to see it but it only spawns late at night and if you do come by and see it definitely sell it because it's worth almost eighteen thousand dollars it comes in this bluish purple color and there's another one that's like a yellowish greenish one there's two types Another thing you need to do is take advantage of the daily wheel. You have a chance to win big money, but with my luck, of course I get something like clothing. Once you have at least fifty thousand dollars in your bank account, you get access to becoming a VIP and VIP jobs. Now, I only recommend two of these jobs, which are Headhunter and Sightseer. I only recommend Headhunter for the players that have already been playing the game for some time now and have some weaponized vehicles, because if you are newer to the game, you won't have a lot, and the targets will easily kill you over and over again. It'll be just too frustrating. So, if you are a newer player, just stick to Sightseer. You do three easy hacks, and you can just go around the map collecting three packages. Easy twenty grand. The best way, in my opinion, to make money from nothing in GTA is the weekly Rockstar double double money, triple money, and even sometimes quadruple money events. Every week, Rockstar does something, some sort of double money event, and keep updated with what these are so you can grind them and easily make this money. You see that $2 million in my pocket right now? I made that just from one day of an adversary mode double money event. It was Drop Zone a few weeks ago. I played it all day because I, I really enjoy playing Drop Zone. It's easy money, guys. I would not lie to you. I did that in less than a day. So you guys kept hearing me mention a goal earlier, and that goal is $2.2 .2 million because that is how much a submarine costs yes all of this is to get a submarine realistically i would want you guys to save up to four million dollars because that's how much it would cost to get the submarine and the sparrow moon pool vehicle the sparrow makes things so much faster and it's so worth it so i would prefer you guys to do that but you don't have to of course after you reach your money goal Purchase a submarine and a sparrow, and then you'll have to scope out a Kyle Perico heist. They'll send you to steal a smuggler's vellum, so just kill the guys around the plane and take the plane to the waypoint. This is when you'll scope out El Rubio's island. Once you get to the island, you'll see a motorcycle ahead of you. Go ahead and get on it and follow the route that I do, and of course, try your best to avoid hitting bushes and getting detected. Be very careful once you get to this gate because there's a camera and there's a guard that walks by and they will easily see you if you're not patient. So you gotta wait until he turns around. All right, he just turned around, so I'm gonna go now. And also be careful not to get caught by the cars that drive by. I was in a little panic here, not gonna lie, because these bushes be harder than buildings, bro.
Once you get to the communications tower, search for the signal box. It could be on the very top, bottom, or middle of the tower. When you're doing the hack, you'll see a number at the top of the screen. I'm gonna put a guide up for what does what to the numbers and how to match it. There is one that's an X. That means times 10, by the way, but I didn't get it on this occasion. Once you get into the cameras, immediately scroll right. Don't waste your time going left because you'll see a whole bunch of pointless scopes and you can't even get it since you're by yourself anyway. And of course, with my luck, I get the tequila, the worst paying one. <laughs> Immediately when you're done with that, just jump off. It'll save you so much time instead of going all the way back. Trust me. Immediately after that, you'll spawn all the way back where you started. No problems. And you can go right back to Los Santos. Now that the scoping is done, call in your submarine and head back to it. It's time to do the setups. The first setup we're doing is the law fence setup. And what you'll have to do is go to a police station and steal a boat using a cab. Cabs are displayed on the map that you can use, but I personally own one. So I don't have to go through that trouble and I can just call it right in. I recommend after you take the, the boat out of the police station, you just blow yourself up because it's pretty difficult to lose the cops with such a large vehicle. So you can just blow yourself up, lose them and take it back to the docks peacefully. The next setup is the fingerprint cloner. You'll have to go into some warehouse and be careful when you walk in, bro. They got shotguns and they will blast you as soon as you walk through the door. As you can see, it happened to me. <laughs> but once you clear that out, you'll have to hack on computer and it'll send you to another location. Once you get to that next location, you have to look on one of the desks and there will be the fingerprint cloner right there. Then you just leave out and take it back to the submarine. The next setup is the cutting torch and this is probably the easiest one because all you gotta do is go to a construction site, pretend to be a construction worker and look for the torch in the one of the toolboxes. This is the easiest one because as long as you don't cause any problems, they'll leave you alone and you can just leave out no problem. The next setup is the plasma cutter and I don't have any gameplay for this because I accidentally deleted it guys. I apologize. I, I do all of this on my Xbox so I was running out of storage and I had to, you know, delete it to make room for the rest of the clips. I'm sorry. But you have to go to this place, take a picture of a heist board, and then you have to go steal the cutter from the people and then take it back to the submarine. I'm sorry, guys. The final setup is getting the guns. Now, if you see go to Merryweather HQ, head over to Merryweather HQ and blow up the helicopter immediately. It is not worth it. They literally send you across the map. The time consumption is insane. So don't waste your time with it. Just blow up the helicopter and go back and start it again. So you go to the building that it tells you to building and then you clear everybody out and then you go in and you clear everything out in there again and then you got to go to the locker and then you have to hack a laptop and then you have to get the weapons and then take them back to the submarine after all of that you are finally ready to start the heist do not forget to buy suppressors all right suppressors are mandatory set the heist up exactly how i'm setting it up and then we're ready to go After you start the highest, head over to the north dock exactly where I'm going.
Be careful to not get the boat stuck on land. And then take out the guard on the watchtower and the guard right in front of you and the camera. Then go to the left of this building and you'll see a little lever. Open it up and take whatever's in there. Don't be an idiot like me and not grab it all. Then quietly take out this guard and the one that comes out of the building in front of you. When I tell you I was scared, bro, I was so scared. I thought I had to start over. Oh. Next, go into this building over here and use your torch to break into this gate and take the secondary target. Next, head back to the boat you left at the shore and head over to the maintenance tunnel and enter El Rubio's compound. When you get there, immediately equip a rebreather because you will drown if you don't because I almost drowned and I have max lung capacity. I was also very rusty at this, so... Once you get there, follow the same route I do and kill the same people I do. For this hack, match every single one and set the bottom one as the top one and go over one, then over two, then over three, then over four until it matches. That's exactly how you do this hack. Alright, after all that's done, head down to the basement and take that primary target. And of course, don't let the plasma gun overheat. Don't push it too hard and just, you know, ease it. You gotta ease it.
I all you gotta do now is dip up out of here. Go through the same way I'm going, but instead of opening the gate first, shoot the guard first. As you can see, I fumbled the bag right here. I missed my headshot. That's like one of the worst feelings on this heist, bro, is missing the headshot. And then I got busted. So I won't be doing this completely undetected, but I still got you guys. Now, as soon as you leave the compound, you'll see a guy standing in front of a motorcycle. You want to shoot that guy, take the motorcycle, and drive the same way I'm going to drive. But it's going to be a little different this time because I got caught. These Kyle Prickle bushes are something else, bro. Anyway, keep going. Drive right off the edge of the mountain and just the mountain, island, whatever, and swim off into the distance. Do not stop. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Just keep swimming. Dory said it. Just keep swimming. You guys won't have the boats and the helicopters after you because you won't be an idiot like me and get caught. So don't even stress about that. It's going to be all right. And boom, we're out of the heist. And guys, let me tell you something. This is only part one. There's still a part two. So for now, I want you guys to build your wealth using this because there's still so much more money to make. I got you, boys. Trust me. So that's it for the video, guys. Consider dropping a like and subscribing. I'm out.